Welcome back to Topless Galore. Seeing animals in captivity can be really sad, especially when they don't have large areas to roam. But today we'll be seeing some animals that were stuck in small cages, experiencing freedom for the first time. Let's get this started. These two bears are 21 years old and are sisters and they have spent their entire lives performing for the circus, being kept in small cages, traveling around everywhere. Thankfully, somebody finally stepped in and were able to rescue them and take them to the Liberty Bear Sanctuary, where they can just be bears, not having to do tricks to entertain humans. The great thing is that they were rescued together and got to experience this freedom at the same time. They are in shock that they can touch grass and they just can't stop rolling around on it. Why do we find animals doing tricks to be so exciting when watching them be free should be more than enough? This golden tiger was stuck in a circus for years, performing in some really dumb shows. Great people took it upon themselves to rescue her from her small prison and they took her to the sanctuary where she can roam in a large grassy patch with a lot of toys and be able to hang around with other tigers. These two are unsure of each other for a while, but the golden is really busy just exploring around and checking out the grass. The way she steps so carefully, like not being sure if each step that she takes is safe, is kind of sad to watch, but also great to know that she has so much more freedom now. This one is a little different. These lions were in captivity but were kept in rather large enclosures. But the South African Predator Association set out to prove that they can be released into large reserves and they can fend for themselves. They did this with this group of lions and they were able to adapt perfectly and form the pride. They started hunting for themselves with no problems and they are now happier being able to have basically complete freedom. The reserve is 5000 hectares which is more than enough for this pride to continue thriving. The circus from the world famous Barnum and Bailey finally gave up their elephants to Walter Conservation in Florida. At first, they were moved to a small Orlando facility, but they were finally purchased and taken to the much larger reserve where they have water and food for days. The elephants were able to become a herd with hierarchies and all the aspects of wild animals. They cannot be released into the wild as they were raised in captivity, but the sanctuary provides them with as close to normal as they can possibly get. These lions were kept in cages for years, but once they were rescued and were taken to the Shamwari private game reserve, they got a huge enclosure with tons of bushes and trees for them to feel like they are in Africa. They were cautious at first, but they eventually just started roaming the grounds, getting accustomed to the much larger play areas that they now have. The way they look around as they walk, like thinking, it's still not over, there's still more things to see, it's just amazing. The Great Animals Asia organization saved the bears that were finally given up by the Hanoi Circus after years of being locked up and forced to perform. These were the last four bears that they took possession of and they took them to this much larger temporary sanctuary where they can have toys, places to climb, some plants to sniff and just a space to be bears. The organization is still fighting for the circus to give up all its animals but this is a pretty good start. Seeing bears in the wild, it's obvious how much they like water, but when you see a rescued circus bear being released into a huge enclosure and just runs directly into the water makes you understand that water is required for them to be happy. The bear explores the area a bit but always comes back to the water. He first enters carefully, feeling the dirt with his paw for what appears to be his first time, unsure of what it is. When he knows it's safe, he makes a beeline for the water. How amazing. Animal Defenders International saved four lion siblings from a circus at different times, but they were finally reunited at the sanctuary that was built especially for them, and it is much larger than those cages where they were kept at the circus. Sasha was the first released, and it was just the first time after 10 years to touch grass, and even the huge male lion started playing with a tire just like a kitten. The plan is to move them to a huge sanctuary in Africa, but they have to be screened before they are eventually moved to a place where they will be truly free. This poor bear was kept in a small cage with concrete floors, never having been able to touch the dirt or grass. But this great organization was able to fight hard to finally get him and take him to a sanctuary in Germany. First, they tried to calm him down after the stressful trip with some great food and when they finally released him, you can just see his face trying to take everything in, not believing that he has so much space to roam and dirt and grass to touch. And of course, bears like water, so he has a nice water hole to splash around. 
his face of complete shock is amazing to see, that he finally has so much space just for himself. This poor bear was kept all alone for his entire life, not being able to see any other bears or have any freedom. He was kept in a small shed, chained up, and could barely move. He was taken to a sanctuary where he was kept separate for a while, but he eventually got really close to a bear living in the neighboring enclosure, and they moved them together and they have been inseparable ever since. This bear went from being barely able to move, to having trees to scratch on, plants to sniff, water to play in, and most importantly, a lifelong friend to spend time with. Is there anything that will make you happier than seeing an animal be free and happy? <laughs> These are just the best moments that make you feel like maybe the world is not that bad after all. Thanks for watching this video. See you next time.